When you lived inside of me, there was nothing I could conceive that you wouldn't do for me. Trouble seems so far away. You changed that right away, baby. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. No. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Oh, 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 oh. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. How y'all doing? Y'all know what I'm here for. I am here to review season three, episode 15 of Tyler Perry's comedy drama soap opera, The Oval. And that song is dedicated to Priscilla because she had to let Sam know tonight. Get on out of here. You ain't welcome here no more. I, you, you did too much. You got to go. She had the big old pot ready to pour it on him. But before I get into that, this episode, reviewing this episode of Tyler Perry's comedy soap opera drama, The Oval, I got to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers. It's about 830 something of y'all. I do appreciate that. Come on, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join. So shout outs to folks like Jennifer Calhoun, Randall Brown, Savannah Rivers Amore, Dupree, June BLC, Khadija Kam Kamara, um, Ahmad Hassan, A. Henderson, Lamont Simpson, Miss Tasha, Rhonda Shaking My Head, LT Soul, uh, Cornelius Brackens, Bobby Ray, R.C. Kroger, Saxon Heights, Crystal Lett, Nadine Harris, and Kryptonian Black, and all the rest of you. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's get right down to this episode. Um, Oh my goodness. Kareem, who I do not like, who I think is stupid, who I thought was dumb for going down to the police precinct to report the president trying to bag your girl, Sharon, and bring her. Why would you do that? Why would you be so stupid? So the episode starts with him getting jacked up and he's like, please, please, please. And dude was roughing him up and said, put his gloves on. You know you're about to die when they put the gloves on you. I thought he was going to get killed in, in tonight's episode. Which, did I say the title of the episode? Tonight's episode is called Wicked. I thought he was going to die in this episode. They didn't kill him tonight, but he got roughed up. He got grabbed up and snatched up. And, you know, now he's going to go. Donald's going to, um, he's going to be, Donald wanted to see him or whatever. Because Donald was calling the Secret Service agent and said, where is he? What's going on? Is he serious? Is this one we got to handle? Then he says to him, he says, he says to the Secret Service agent, he said, listen, bring him to me. But also... Find out where my boo Kyle is at. Where's my boo thing, Kyle? Speaking of Kyle, <laughs> Kyle is still in the bunker. Sam got him there. Kyle is threatening Sam, saying, you know, what I'm going to do to you and do to your wife if you don't let me up out of here. Sam is not phased by that. Sam brought him some slop to eat while he's in there, and he's mad. He tell him, you don't know what you're doing, man. You're going to get hurt. You better let me up out of here. So that's where Kyle is at. Kyle is in the bunker. Meanwhile, we see, uh, what did, who did we see? We seen the vice president, and his wife saying, you know, do you think this whole thing is going to turn things around? Can we really get them? We got to have more stuff on them. This whole thing is dumb to me because I'm not seeing how what Victoria did is so damaging. To me, it would be more damaging on her than it would be on the vice president. So I don't see how this is so damaging and got them on the ropes to me. This situation kind of works more in the favor of the vice president because still your son, if you're saying that all these things, all these crimes was committed by your son, Crazy Jason. This, to me, makes the, the folks in the White House, makes the president and his wife and his family look bad. So I don't, I'm not understanding that whole thing. But the vice president's wife, she's pretty much saying, listen. We got them. We need to we need to get security around Jason because they might do something to Jason. And I'm like, OK, there we go. Then she said, but where is their daughter? We got to find out where her, I tell you where her daughter is. If the daughter is on. Well, she she was she's on Power Book 2 <laughs> getting in Power Book 2 money. Well, 
I think her, her character's been killed off of that show. If y'all watch that, if some of y'all watch that. That's where the girl, who the actress who plays the daughter's been. She's been on Power Book 2, so she left. To me, I think that's why we don't see her on the show. And they kind of wrote her out because she's doing Power Book 2. Maybe now that her character's been killed off, maybe she'll return to Power. I mean, maybe she'll return to the Oval. Maybe. Maybe next season or something like that. I don't know if she's really killed off on power. But anyway, back to that. She's saying we got to find his daughter, their daughter, and maybe she can help us take them down. Then let's see what I have in my notes here. Um, we go to a scene with Sam at home and Priscilla comes with this big old Martha Stewart pot. Was it hot grits in there or hot water? Was she going Al Green them and pour some grits on them? I don't know. We don't know. But it was, I don't know if it was hot water or grits in there. And she's holding it like this. And she's like, you better get out of here now. Get out of here now. Sam is looking petrified. And he's like, baby, please. I love you. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. She's not trying to hear that. She said, you better get out of here. Get your things and go. She's holding this ridiculously big pot of scolding hot water or grits or oatmeal, whatever's in there. And I'm thinking the way she's holding this thing, she ain't gonna be able to put she looked like it looked like it was too heavy for her. And she should have had a smaller pot. It would have been easier to dash like that. But you're holding it with two hands. It's clearly hot. He could have dodged that and got got away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't been in no situation like that, but still I'm saying he could have got away with that. Any old way he leave. He goes to leave. She puts it down, and she starts crying. Then he comes back and grabs her, puts her in a big old hug. This this is supposed to be the real emotional scene right here, y'all. This is supposed to be emotional right here. Grabbed her, put her in a hug. Oh baby, please. I'm so sorry. I love you. I made a mistake. Oh baby, baby. And then they went through this whole thing. And she's like, Oh baby, we could go through counseling, honey. I love you, sugar sweetie. Blah blah blah. And Priscilla wasn't hearing that. She's like, nah, bro, you gots to go. Get on up out of here. You got to go. I don't want to see you. So Sam leaves and he goes to uh, Richard and Nancy's house. And you hear that banging on the door and he woke everybody up in the house. Nancy, Lord have mercy, Nancy, Barry and Richard. They go down and answer the door. It's Sam Sam's having this conversation. <clears throat> Nancy goes back up. She, oh, Lord have mercy. I, I wanted to see more Nancy because I love when she gets all churchy on us. She went back upstairs. Um, Richard, Sam, and Barry are talking. And then somehow we got to my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Tyler Perry, Please, Lord Tyler Perry, can you please wrap that daughter story up? I'm sick of Barry and his daughter. And, you know, he's upset because he's saying, you know, uh, he told Sam, he said, I'll never forgive you if something happened to my daughter because something with the raggadooshies and the little girl is in there. She got to stay in there for a little bit longer. And they go through this. It was something I was I kind of checked out. Y'all gonna have to tell me in the comment section about that because I was like, you with this 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 that Ragadushi storyline. And I don't I don't watch the Ragadushi the show, what's it called? Ruthless. I don't watch that. But this storyline, can y'all give, give the girl, give give Barry a give him his daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Give him his daughter back. Please. Tyler Perry. Somebody that's watching this <clears throat> that know Tyler, tell him. Write that storyline out. Okay? Write that storyline out. Please. Give him his daughter. You know what? Here we, here's what we're going to do, Tyler. Write me into the show as the person <laughs> who rescues Barry's daughter and bring Barry's daughter to him so I can say, Barry, I have your daughter. That's all I need. That's the only line I need. Barry, I have your daughter. And I give him his daughter and he then that's it. Because I'm tired of Barry with this. My daughter, my daughter, my daughter. I, I'm just sick of his storyline. I, I really am. So let's move right along to the ruthless, wicked, evil First Lady Victoria in the hospital trying to figure out how long she has to be there. Can she because the press is there. She's just being cold and ridiculous. And her and the president have this conversation. That's just he, he did compliment her a little bit. He said, you know, 
Your little act was good, though. She said, oh, you're complimenting. Then they start throwing insults at each other again about who's dumb. And he said something like he was dumb for marrying her. And it was something she said. Let me see. She told him that everything he thinks is stupid. Because it is true. Because he is pretty dumb. Because his plan, this is what his plan. Y'all hear his plan? What he wants to do to the vice president. The vice president has some summit trip that he's supposed to go on. And he's like, we can make it look like an accident. And we can make his plane go down and kill him. Why is this man so evil now? Like, these people are crazy. Now he wants to just, let's just kill him. He's speaking freely in the hospital about this whole thing. She tells him it's a dumb idea. I think it's a dumb idea, but he's adamant about this idea. In fact, he even, when Donald comes in and Donald tells him he doesn't think it's a good idea and you just can't go around doing stuff like this, he tells Donald, I can do what I want. You know, I am the president. I can do what the F I want and you get the F out. All this foolishness. And then he, before that, before he told him to get out, he also asked him, was there a nurse that he could mess with? So, you know, Donald's telling him, you know, you can't do this type of thing. He's telling Donald he won't want the, the big booty nurse. What's that big booty nurse in there? What's her name? What's going on with her? She look, get it. What is wrong with this guy? This guy is ridiculous. I was like, this is madness. This is crazy. But now, that, that family's just crazy. Didn't you see the first lady slamming stuff on the bed? I think it was her purse or something on Jason's bed. They're just nuts. They're just completely nuts and just evil. And it's time to take them down. It's just, they're, they're crazy. So, Donald is keeping in touch with the Secret Service man who has Kareem. Now he got Kareem tied up in the van, got the thing over his head. Kareem, you're just stupid. You're really stupid. I just, just completely stupid. I, I, I don't know anything. I, I don't know more about that. Just, just horrible. But the president, like I said, the president still has this stupid plan where he's just going to kill the whole family, the vice president, his whole family going to get on this Thing and he's gonna and he says something like, "I'm gonna be like, did he say Pablo Escobar and you know put all my enemies on a plane and then kill him?" And, and Donald said to him, "You are not a drug lord, dude. You're not a drug lord." And he said, "No, I'm the president." Corny, 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 corny. What else happened in this episode? We seen Alan coming back to work dumb. I don't know why he just didn't resign and leave town because something's going to happen to him too. But now he's sneaking the gun back into the White House and he did that whole little bait and switch thing and put the gun in the box and put first of all, this is the worst security in life. This is the worst security. For this to be White House security for him to be able to slip that gun in like that, this is ridiculous. Horrible security. Y'all can't get nothing right. Y'all let this boy jump off a roof. You're always somebody... You, infiltrating this place with no problem horrible ridiculous stupid <laughs> completely stupid completely stupid um yeah this episode I don't know, it was a little boring a little boring a little boring y'all uh what else happened max and bobby max wants to get his hands on uh, Kyle badly. He wants to get in that. He's He said, I can, we can break back into this bunker and do what we got to do. And they had a stupid conversation too because then Bobby kept referring to himself because I'm Bobby. I'm Bobby. I'm Bobby. I was like, what, what's with these little corny lines tonight? What's, what, what was that about? But basically, Max d feels like we can, we can still take them down, but I want to get my hands on Kyle for killing Uma. Y'all remember Uma, right? That one who used to say, ma'am, yes, ma'am, 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 all that first season. She was annoying, but it was sad to see her be killed off. But anyway, he's like, you know, I, um, I, we got to get this, we got to get in here and really take them down. And I got to get in there. But Bobby feels like, no, nah, they got us against the ropes. And I'm like, how, Sway? How do they have y'all against the ropes? Her making this announcement saying that crazy Jason did everything, the, the Victoria saying that means nothing. Like, that, how, how does that stop the plan? That was frustrating me. That whole thing was just frustrating me. I was like, come on, y'all, with this. This is stupid. 
And th that frustrated me. And like I said, the president with his whole, I'm going to kill everybody. He's, he's just this ruthless, crazy, crazy, just, just crazy. So we go back to Kareem, which the president also said, bring him to me. Are you crazy? You want to bring Kareem to the hospital? I don't know what's going on. Because he knows that Kareem is Sharon's boyfriend because Donald confronted the president and said, listen, you can't keep doing stuff like this. That is, you can't, you know, you just can't do stuff like that because you're the president. But we know what he said. Yes, I can. I can do what I want. So it ends with him going down in the parking lot or wherever and going in there to speak to Kareem. And um, Kareem goes, Hunter Franklin. And he says, no, it's Mr. President or some sh crap like that. Mr. Hunter Franklin. No, you mean Mr. President, bitch. <laughs> and that's where it ended. And I'm like, okay, mm, I don't know. This episode was a little boring to me, y'all. I know I said that earlier. I, it was okay for me. It wasn't, your, it wasn't, yeah, there was no, not enough action for me like I like it. But tell me your thoughts. What did you feel about this episode? And also, do you want me to continue to review the Oval? You want me to continue doing this? Let me know, yes or no. Because um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this show. Let me know what you think. But we got to see what's going to happen right next week, right? We got to see what's going to happen. Um, it's just, I don't know, this whole thing with the president being, I don't know. Now you done kidnapped Kareem and all this other stuff. And from what it looks like in the previews next week, he going to be up in the, the president is going up into the pharmacy. It's getting a little outrageous. But, well, it's been outrageous. And I do like it when it's outrageous. But, I don't know, it was kind of stupid tonight. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just how I feel about it. But tell me your thoughts. Did you like tonight's episode? Did you like it? Let me know down in the comment section. That's all I have for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.